Hi my beautiful utopians! So welcome back you beautiful people. So today I am going to be doing a couple of announcements telling you guys what has been going on. I know that some of y'all have been seeing a lot of changes happening, at least one big one. And so tune in and be ready to find out what has been up. <music> So welcome back. Usually I would sit there and say welcome back to my own utopia. But for those that have noticed and those that have not, I have officially and utterly changed my name to Kaylina's Yarny Utopia. So I have kept the utopian um, or my utopians because I absolutely love you guys and I absolutely love calling you guys that as well. And I love utopia. But... I needed to change my name. I honestly have been struggling for ever since I started this that I feel that my name really does not represent what my channel is all about. When you read my channel name, you're like, what in the world is it actually about? So I originally started trying to change it to uh, my own Utopia Knit and Crochet. And then I started struggling and I'm like, okay, I wanted to go down a different path and I'm like, you know what? I need something. I need something that is going to, when you first read the name, you fully 100% see and know this is dealing with yarn. This is dealing with knitting and crocheting and all of that. And then here my name is, or my uh, logo itself also represents neurodivergence. So that's what my channel is going to be all about. And that is why I have changed it to Kaylina's Yarning Utopia. So let's start over. Hi, and welcome back to Kaylina's Yarning Utopia. My name is Kaylina. I have three wonderful boys. My oldest one is 10. It has been a while since I've done this. So, and their birthdays are happening. My oldest one is 10. My middle is six turning seven in three days. And my youngest is four years old. We have some uh, medical issues and things like that that's happening. So nine out of 10 times, I usually try to do it during nap time or while they're sitting down eating lunch. So at the particular moment, they are actually eating lunch. So hopefully mommy can have a little bit of quiet time. <laughs> Please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and a little bell for all for notifications. Not only does it help you out to know whenever I put up a new video, but it also helps me out as well. So without further ado, that was one of the things was that I wanted to change my name or one of the announcements. I had to think for a second, I'm like, what was that name again? I'm like, it's an announcement. That's the word I'm talking about is announcement. Um, so I decided to change my name. I have had so much fun and I absolutely love the fact that I've been able to step away from YouTube and not pour my soul into it honestly and that's what I have been doing it for the past couple of years is I have actually been pouring my soul into it but by stepping away it brings a light to a situation that you really don't have a light into in the first place or that has been shadowed out by whatever you were doing at the particular moment I'm doing metaphors here if you can grasp what I'm saying <laughs> um so I have decided that I want to do a craft fair. I would like to do a craft fair. Is that going to happen? I don't know, but we will see. Um, so I will, I have been practice, or I have been preparing, sorry, I have been preparing for a craft show. So because of that, and because of this channel and everything else like that, and me building my brand and me building everything and my awesome community, I wanted to be able to have from every aspect be able to come back. Like I said, when you first read my name, I know for a fact everybody loved the name. They connected the name to me, but it was really difficult when you first come across my name to sit there and say, oh, I know exactly what this channel is all about. So that's why I changed my name. Um, also too, when you're doing 
starting a business or even just minor playing around with craft fairs or selling or anything else like that and that's the first thing you want to look at as well is you're wanting individuals to be able to look at your name and say oh that's what it's about so adding your name into it or a piece of oneself into it and everything else like that is like crucial to the aspect of it so i if i am capable hands fi or fingers crossed and all that and everything and I get to do some craft fairs don't worry you guys I will be taking you guys with me and I will do as many updates as I can as possible but for those that has been here for a while you know that my main concern and worry at the particular moment is my eldest son and because it's dealing with him and his medical issues and his surgery that's coming up and everything. My only concern is with not only him, but my other two children and everything else like that is mainly focusing on the holiday season. So if I don't have enough time and I prefer to, and I pick and choose between spending hours on trying to get prepped for the craft fair or choosing to go to a festival or something else like that, I'm going to choose the festival. I want to choose taking my babies to the festival and having fun and building the experience of this year and this holiday with my babies over that. So just fair warning, I don't want to sit there and push myself doing something I don't want to do. So that's another one of my goals is from here on out, whenever I sit there and I say I am thinking about doing something, I don't want to push myself to the point of dreading doing it anymore just because I get bored of it. I want to accept myself for who I am and what I am and if I can't do it, I can't do it. And I'm going to be honest with myself from here on out with that. Oh, fair warning, I think the dogs are about to start barking. So if they do, I will mute or I'll pause and like jump ahead. Um, so that's one of the things that is actually still happening. Um, so my I will be changing the banner name and everything else like that and eventually I will get all of that situated and all taken care of. Like I said, I have been trying to get all of that taken care of too. I have a tutorial that I am actually about to get started working on in just a few minutes and I'm going to be go ahead and pulling you guys down and setting it all up and everything. I have actually written my very own um, it's called a happy ghost pattern. I will probably pop up a, a photo over here because they've all sold, sold. So I need to actually make some more. So I'm like, well, if I gotta make some more, why not go ahead and do a tutorial with you guys? So be prepared. It will be coming out probably in the beginning of this month. Um, I'm looking at the calendar now. I might put post it th by this weekend. So I probably will go ahead and sit down and go ahead and do it today. Uh, today is October 4th. It is a Wednesday. So I don't know if I'm going to post this video today or I'm going to post it tonight and have it uh, done up for Thursday. But I will probably go ahead and sit down and start doing the tutorial for the Happy Ghost. Uh, so I will be doing that tutorial very, very shortly. And then um, I have a second tutorial that I am wanting to do. It's called the Baby Pumpkin Hat that I have just came up with. Uh, it's my own pattern. It's my own thoughts. As you can tell, I've been playing around with yarn a whole lot. So I have the Happy Pumpkin, the Baby Happy uh hats. Ooh, what a tongue twister. Those two tutorials will be coming out this month. So those two tutorials will be coming out this month. Um, I will not be participating in the vlog October like I did the last few years. Like I said, I probably will be putting up a couple of vlogs talking about the boys and us doing the festival because we got a festival coming up on my baby's birthday and that's on Saturday. So I might actually do this, uh, a vlog on that. I might do a couple of vlogs here and there, but to actually do it on a day to day basis, I will not be doing that this year. I'm sorry. I will not be doing the Christmas one either. Um, we have way too much on our plate at the particular moment but um like my husband said he wanted me to stick with it mr utopia wanted me to stick with the youtube 
He does not want me to overburden myself because of what's about to occur. And I love this man half to death and I greatly appreciate that he is supporting me the best that he can knowing that this actually brings me great joy and it, I know it helps you guys out a lot as well and everything. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and just do a little bit of an announcement talking about all that. Also too, I am starting to share a lot of things over on my community tab. I have a... Um, one is I have just another stitch. She's doing a, was it October knit along? And if you want to go over there and go check her out and go check out her channel, I'll have that link down below. Or if you want to go to my community tab, I will have that link there. There is a giveaway from Cindy Life and Yarn Tangle. I have her already shared out onto my community tab. I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. I am on all of that. If you want to join me on TikTok as well, I post I post all of those things as well into my Instagram and my TikTok and my Facebook groups. Um, I have been posting a lot of the photos of what I've been doing as well. So if I can't get on here except for once a month to be able to show off all of the makes and everything that I've been doing, head on over there and you'll get a much faster update of all the things that I have been doing knitting and crocheting up because I got a lot of projects and I've been doing a whole lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope y'all have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend. And until then, blessed be.